believe it or not, my list of bonus videos is getting longer now. And I had planned on doing a bonus video today uh, of GG Vibes. But it's Memorial Day in the United States where we uh, honor the people that have given their lives in, in the uh, service of freedom. One of whom is my cousin, Dan Donald. Donald died in Vietnam in 1968. As a matter of fact, I went to his funeral just a few days before I went to boot camp. It was quite sobering, to put it mildly. But when I was reading comments today, I came across this one and I decided to change my plans. Uh, user Rebecca uh, Curtis 6680 wrote, I'd love to see you do a reaction to Madison Rising Star Spangled Banner for Memorial Day if possible. The band isn't together anymore, but it's one of my favorite versions of our national anthem. Lead singer Dave Bray is solo now. He formed Navy. He's former Navy USMC, very patriotic and a sincere Christian. And so I went and listened to the song. And although, in my opinion, it's not as great as some of the others that I've heard, it is an excellent rendition of the song. So I've decided to feature that today. Tomorrow we'll get back to normalcy. Before I get on to that, though, I do want to thank you for coming to my channel and for supporting me. I really, really do appreciate it. You just have no idea. So this is the band Madison Rising singing the Star Spangled Banner.
So that was the national anthem of the United States. As I'm sure many of you know, probably heard it ad infinitum, ad nauseum. <clears throat> Excuse me. I still enjoy hearing it every time. I like that version. Um, not as well as some others that I've heard. I, I still think Whitney Houston's was the the most fantastic version I've ever heard. But that's a good version, and I, I like the way that he changed it up some and, and uh, used different uh, notes for some of the words. Uh, the way that he, when he got to the brave part, he emphasized that very strongly with his voice. Um, and how they went off on a riff a little bit towards the end before they got back into the end of the song. But, you know, um, it's our national anthem, so I never tire of hearing it. These are dark times in our, our world. We're being threatened with dictatorship all over the world, including the United States. And if there was other, ever a time for us as people, as a, as a human race, to stand up and say, my freedom matters and I will not bow the knee to dictatorships. Now would be the time. Now like no other time in the history of the world, we're being threatened by people who think they know better than us what we should do with our own lives. By people who think they're smarter than us and they have the money to try and control us. We have to fight that. If we don't, it's over. So if I had any one message for you on Memorial Day, it's regardless of what country you live in, be proud of your country. Stand up for your rights. And don't be afraid to speak out when the men in power try to get you to kneel. It may cost you. It may cost you a lot. It may even cost you your life. But isn't freedom worth it? I know it is for me. And I'm not afraid of dying. <laughs> Man, am I not afraid of dying. Because I know that when Christ returns, I will be raised up. And you can have that same confidence if you're born again. So if there was one other thing I would encourage of you, it's learn about the Bible and about Jesus Christ and learn about what it means to be born again and take the plunge. Maybe you'll find out that your life is as good as mine is and mine is pretty darn good. And that's why I pray for every single one of you every time I do a video that you will be blessed by God with an abundant life and with long life and with health and that God will keep you safe from harm and that you'll be born again if you're not already. I pray for that same thing for every single person that you love. And more than anything, I pray that you will be anxious for nothing because if you have the spirit of Christ in you, you cannot be anxious because you know God has your back. So in all things with prayer and supplication, through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God and the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era vet out.